Greetings and good evening. Today's live stream will be again about uh, main story progression. And without wasting too much time, let's see what are the available main story priority quests. First, a new world, then maybe a new world, uh, different new world, <laughs> or maybe just directly jump to the journey to Meridian. I'm not really sure which one is considered to be Hey Mika. Which one is considered to be more priority than the others? Maybe I could do them one by one How about that. Uh, let's see. The H047C. There are reports of investigating and potentially lucrative activity in the Remav system. While those reports alone seem vague, it's also the area that the Turian Ark may have been headed. Vetra and PB suggest that we check it out. I will definitely check it out. Hey, Senna. Let's begin with this one. I think the most interesting quest is going to definitely be the Meridian, Strike but... Ready for deployment. Okay, thank you. I've got some new badass gear to show you guys. I mean, really badass. Okay, I'll show you when I actually land down. So we are heading to Remav. Ha, <laughs> thank you. That was an insane surprise and um, our media here and just every single Bulgarian is kind of as surprised as the Dutch media and uh, fans are. Nobody believed that's actually possible. <laughs> it's a shame that on the next game we're going to probably fail like we're supposed to and that cool win is going to mean nothing. Be nice if I managed to discover the Turian Ark. We've discovered the Salarian Ark yesterday, the day before yesterday in the previous live stream. Now it would be nice to discover the second one, then it would be just the. Uh, who would be missing? The Asari Ark will be missing, the, the fourth one. Oh crap, wrong button. I'm here, I need to actually go down. It's a really strange place to land on. Now let me show you the epic gear. The pistol has been upgraded. I believe the last stream I played with uh, the Flanax tier 3. This one is tier 4. And I don't have a fourth mod to install, which is <laughs> weird. This is the fun part though. Check it out. Remnant Heritage Helmet tier 3. That's cool. But then again, this is even cooler. Uh, where is it? Oh. Thank God it's actually here. Remnant Reborn Armor Tier 10. This is the Remnant um, Research category highest tier of uh, chest piece available. And it looks so very badass. It actually makes me look like the uh, drones that I've been fighting. And of course, I'm using my favorite fusion mode of Biotic Mastery because it gives me insane boost to Biotics. Nothing else is really of great importance. Just a huge upgrade on the chest piece, small upgrade, but still a nice one for the helmet. The old set that I was wow. using, the Pathfinder Scout. Look at all this. Okay, the let's listen. Did a number here, didn't it? To think this was supposed to be the Turian home, now the exiles have taken over. Cosmic radiation is off the charts, Ryder. You'll need to stay in the Nomad. <laughs> What good are these fancy suits if they don't block radiation? In normal situations, they do. But this planet's magnetic field was disrupted when it cracked open. No protection from a cosmic ray tearing you apart at the molecular level. So, stick to the Nomad. Descent engine engaged. Good luck, Ryder. Thank you. So, I was telling you about what? Uh... Oh yeah, my previous armor set, the Pathfinder Scout, it looked very badass, and I already stroke some impressions, good impressions. Uh, oh, I've got a new upgrade installed. Nice. 
I mean, I installed the upgrade myself, I just forgot about it. <laughs> However, the previous armor said, let me finally try and finish that thought. The previous armor said that I had um, wasn't really suitable for, uh, for a biotic build. It was more friendly towards, I think, something like a uh, tech build, probably. Okay, that's a lot of uh, forward stations available here. And I don't even know what I'm doing. I traveled to the world. What now? Uh. Okay, so just exploration, I suppose, until we find any clues about the Salarian, about uh, the Turian arc. Let's go check that question mark there. The sound is really weird. I don't think the Dutch suck at football. <laughs> they actually have a very solid team, usually. But in the last two, three years, it's been kind of a disaster. do, I'm sure Callow will catch us. What does that mean? Ryder, tell, tell me you're not. But Gil... Wow. Wow. We're seriously lacking on um, some physics here. There is no... Ooh, that's interesting. There is no gravity here, probably, or, or I don't know, very s small, very... Wow, Sam, what that's is a big that? jump. I feel like almost operator. flying. You should be able to exit the Nomad once inside. What about the crazy space radiation? The dome structure prevents cosmic rays from entering. You can drive into the airlock pathfinder. We have a couple of, at least, I think, Bulgarian players in Krasnodar, don't we? Hey, Zach. Oh, look at that. He's just hazard level one. I'm not dying. Whoa. Applause. Uh, that's not a planet, I think. It's more like an asteroid of some sort. Oh. So much red and orange here. It's a little bit confusing. Okay, I think we cleared them all. Planetoid, if you say, okay. I'm not really sure what the proper English title would be for this thing. Look more like an asteroid to me. Pathfinder, I detect a data pad nearby. It may provide answers. Yeah, but crafting materials first, please. Data pad later. The sound is really weird. I mean, appropriately weird. There's gotta be stuff to scan around here. Okay, that's mine. Really? Just this? Not this place. I'm on zero remnant uh, research data points. Zero. I had up to 1600, 1700 yesterday. I farmed quite a, quite a lot, and then I spent absolutely everything to get these cool weapons. Wait, which? Oh, that's still the Black Widow. Okay, let's find the date pad. I'm not really sure if there are Bulgarians in Krasnodar. Maybe if not now, there used to be. Hey, Trio. Are you enjoying your game now? You got it, finally? Where the hell is the date pad? I think I, I need to get into this thing. Door, please. There it is. Oh, loadout, so nice.
Okay, message for Alvis, whoever that would be. Got plenty of helium-3 soil at this site, but I think we'll deplete it pretty quickly. Once we finish here, head back to the base. Oh, there is a base. Krex will add it to the stash. In case you didn't get the new passcode, it's... Uh, oh, data corrupted. Okay, that's not part of the passcode. They're mining helium-3? The main component in shuttle fuel pathfinder. It can also be... Just need to make a very quick check. Did I craft? Oh, I was lacking some, uh, to make highly effective some very basic crafting material I was lacking yesterday to make the next tier. Ooh, terminal. Hey, asshole. Nice. That's the way to greet people officially on email. Do not respond. Yeah, I get Just those in bulk daily. The attached passcode is only a... Okay, we've got the other sides, and I would probably like to map Fragment. this. Data here indicates other mining domes. I added the locations to your map. Thank you, Sam. That data pad we found mentioned a guy named Crex. Any idea who that is? Name sounds Krogan, but I've never heard of him. What are those black spots? Is it? Oh, just just shadow. Okay. That orange bubble would be my next stop, I assume. Or not? Wow, it looks close, but it's actually far away. My speed is definitely higher. That's because of the upgrade I purchased, and it was installed right as I started today. It's a little bit confusing also because of the weird sound and the fact that the gravity is really messed up. Okay, crater Vespa or something. Looks like we can just drive in here. Exposure to the surface radiation will kill you, Pathfinder. I do not advise leaving the Nomad. Uh, okay, just because you said that. <laughs> Quick save. And let's see. Oh! They actually do not allow me to leave at this point. Right, let's see. I can't go through the door. Does that mean I can just storm through the shield or whatever that is? No. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Hazardous radiation detected. Please remain in the nomad. That's fine, but how the hell do I get in? Okay. Huh. That's weird. That's quite a bit of a mass there, red dog. Oh! Don't eat me, please. Thank you. I have a feeling that my biotics are incredibly overpowered compared to my weapon now. I don't know what the hell did I do to my weapon. Dude, I can do sniping too, you know? While you're invincible, please be careful. Data pad detected, Pathfinder. It's a lot easier and a lot more fun playing with the sniper sniper rifle. Combined with the with the pistol as well, of course. Hey Lucas! 
Happy New Week to everyone. I hope you guys will have a very nice, interesting, productive and fun week. Mine started a little bit uh, frustrating with recovering and covering a mistake from last week. <laughs> uh, work stuff, of course, nothing related to Andromeda. Man, that's a lot of crafting materials. And platinum is actually, I think, quite rare. There is a lot of it here. Hey, George. What's cheating? How dare you claim or accuse me of cheating? What is cheating, really? Playing with the sniper? <laughs> I've become a cheater. No, seriously, up until very recently, I was a huge fan of the Assault Rifle because of my experience with previous Mass Effect games. And my kind of dislike... Uh, I was not really a huge fan of pistols overall, especially from the first game. I, that, that's where I actually uh, I got put off from pistols. I uh, don't know if it was the controls of the first Mass Effect game or something else. Milky Way. No, give me Remnant. I'd like some Remnant more, please, because I've got badass armor stuff to craft. Look at that. It really is badass. It's a shame that the best part of this armor set is actually on the front where you don't see it. But, oh well. They are awesome indeed, yep. Just like Ivan noticed in a comment earlier today on my last live stream, my uh, targeting system is a little bit faulty. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's, uh, that's easy to forget or get by with because it's just normal difficulty. If you're wondering what the hell am I doing, just roaming around, expecting to find some items, something special. Platinum, I believe, is really required for... Oh, it was uranium. It was uranium that I desperately needed and I had to find a trader, a vendor, to buy uranium from because huge chunks of uranium are required for the uh, Remnant Advanced armor set. Specifically for the chest piece. I started with the chest piece because it looks the best. Really badass. And... Uh, it's also the most expensive one to craft. Am I using aim assist? No, I believe I turned it off a long time ago from the first experience with multiplayer, but that's a good reason for me to double check. Okay, I'm not using it. Uh, why I'm not using it? Because it felt like the aim assist is usually going for the torso or for the, for the belly of the enemy and not for a headshot. That was really frustrating in PvP. And let's check out the date pad. Progress report. Checking in like you asked. Found a decent batch of helium-3 soil here. Think we can mine this for another week at least. Might even be enough for cracks to finish the first node. Feel free to take what we have to the base. Passcode is corrupted, of course. This cracks must be in charge okay. of mining helium-3. He's the one we need to stop. The passcode is still incomplete, Pathfinder. I... <laughs> <laughs> to the asshole who stole my boots. Oh, the stories you see in these random terminals. I mean, I don't read all of these messages and emails, but sometimes some of them are just so much fun. Just like in The Witcher, actually. I know it's wrong. I just keep comparing Mass Effect Andromeda to The Witcher 3. And I think I'm not to blame because Bioware brought that upon themselves by comparing the side quests of Mass Effect Andromeda and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And since that moment I've decided, okay, if these things would be the same or as complex as as The Witcher, I'm sold. Sam, I need info on the Exile base. What do you have for me? The base is comprised of two mining domes. The second can only be accessed with a passcode. I also detect multiple frequencies originating from the area. They have communication with Kadara. I'm heavily focusing on Mass Effect Andromeda because it's new, it's exciting, it's interesting and I want to finish it while it's all fresh. I don't want to overextend it. 
If I was playing the game for myself, I would probably overextend it and play my first playthrough over a month or so. But because I'm also live streaming it, I don't want to put too much of a break in between live streams because I trust you guys, may not you, Jim, but the rest who actually care to see the story through my live stream and the playthrough will probably be a little bit discouraged and uh, annoyed if I take longer breaks. Of course, I have not left Star Wars. I've added them to your nav system. I don't think I'll ever leave Star Wars The Old Republic. Obviously, right now, I'm not playing. I haven't logged in since 23rd, so that's four days. Since 22nd, actually. Hazardous radiation detected. Please Fine, I'll go in them. like this. No, I don't trust you. I've never trusted you. You betray me on every single step in Sotor. How many times you've caused the wipe because you refuse to heal me? How the hell can I trust you? Okay, silly joke aside. Let's see if I can kill something before it kills me. Ah! Missed it! Whoa! Hydra, nice! Oh, holy crap. Gotta be a little bit more careful, I suppose. I don't like that. I don't think it's a planet. Okay, then let's go and see if I can start with the armored beast. Oh, it's not here now. Well, it wasn't a one shot, but good enough. And there it is, the big thingy. Okay, if it's just one, then I'm saved, because that was actually an easy kill. But I'm not really sure if it was intended, I just happened to isolate it. <laughs> uh, just two more dots remain, really? That's... oh crap. If he says that, 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 then it means I've cleared all of the targets. 
I know, my targeting is a little bit poor. I feel embarrassed now that you mentioned that in the comment earlier today. Ooh, uranium, nice. I read somewhere in some sort of a uh, crafting materials locations guide of some sort that the first planet or place where you actually can loot uranium. Whoa, that's in big chunks, uranium. It's actually this thing. H-0 something. Oh, you know, I think I have more than enough for at least a couple more pieces to craft. Unfortunately, I don't want to spend uh, the, ma the materials crafting lower tier. And I don't have the research data to craft something better. Nothing here. Photos of cute girls, okay. Why is that turret facing backwards? Really strange. Ah, come on, I don't care about Milky Way or Cat, I mean Helios. I'm really desperate for some more remnant technology. Yeah, let's go check the other corner of the round sphere for some more crafting materials. Yep, there it is. Damn. Not actually sure. Do these things refill themselves? Do they get replenished or respawn of some sort? Because that would be a perfect place to farm. Container. Quite a big container then. With nothing really interesting. And the thing that I spent some 10,000 credits yesterday buying uranium. If I only knew that I was less than half an hour gameplay from a huge mineral deposit. Okay, I've already been here. <laughs> What is that special place? Tell us. Nothing here, really. This place reminds me of uh, the base on Mars from Doom. All red, all filled through the roof with technology, small places, uh, small corridors and such. Message for Krex. Look, asshole. You can harass me all you want, but it won't make my guys work any faster. You get your helium tree soil when we are good and finished. Okay. You want to ship this back to the base yourself? Fine, but leave my team alone. That would be Zen, the third one. I've completed the passcode, Pathfinder. Marking the XL base in your system. Uh, 4,000 meters away. So it's over there. I could use fast travel. Yes, I can. No, let's see. The mark is only one. Okay. We go there. It's probably a good idea to explore the other bubbles as well. But I'll do that by myself later tonight or maybe tomorrow. I managed to clear two more planets uh, yesterday. Vold is now 100%, although I still have many quests left. And uh, uh, what was the origin planet? Oh, crap. The origin planet of the Angara, uh, Havaro. I've also been there and... Uh, I managed to do quite a bit there as well. So that seems to be like a limit. I can't go through here. Does that mean I have to go back from this direction? Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to this same forward station. 
That doesn't seem like an open world map. <laughs> That's some weird laugh from Jal. Despite everything wow. that went wrong here. That's quite a view. Okay. That slow and painful death. And I wasn't really close even. Okay. Let's see. How do I come around this thing? From here or probably have to go from here. Yeah. Oh wait, you know I think I can go from there. Looks like the big hole ends. No, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh, come on again. I can jump that. There we go. That's a small one for my skills. And that's one dark place. Wow. Scary as well. I saw a bridge there to the left. Yep, looks like a bridge, although... <laughs> oh, nice! Hazardous radiation Damn. detected. Please remain in the Nomad. It's on the level one. I was able to get out of the Nomad with level 1. Deploying forward station. Thank you. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Unsettling. What? It's a very sturdy construction. Very damn stable bridge. Quite a nice piece of art, actually. Quick check. Yeah, I think I'm following the right way, the right direction. Maybe. How can a pizza be Mexican? What special ingredients do you have? Jalapeno maybe? Something... Something really, really spicy. I'm really quickly losing my sense of gravity on this planet. And when I go to the next normal planet with normal gravity, it will be confusing. Look at that. That, that thing flies like crazy. And I've almost reached it. That must be the base the exiles mentioned. Lovely view. Do we have a forward station nearby? Unfortunately, no. So where is the entrance to that thing? First impression, it's big. Bigger than the others. And that rock is speaking through. There is my entrance. Going to the headquarters. Okay. 
That means I better save. See you. Come out and play, dude. wasn't a headshot, but good enough to kill it. Done. That was a headshot. The first one, I mean, not the second one. Okay, let's push. There are dots, I just don't see the enemy. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Are the rest inside? Probably. Oh, okay. Not inside, but hiding there. Level up. This is the moment where I don't really know where to go or what to do. I've been leveling passive boosters for my weapons so far and I'm not entirely sure if I want to. Yes, definitely. I've been using the sniper actually, so it's better to continue leveling. Let's see, 9% sniper rifle headshot weak point bonus. Okay, that means I really got to learn. Uh, minus 25% sniper rifle weight. That should be good. Sniper rifle spare ammo. I don't use the sniper so much to care about the spare ammo. And in that difficulty, I find that I've got plenty of uh, spare ammo or crates and boxes around me. So let's go for the weight bonus. Mm, nice. Enter the headquarters. Well, okay. Should have explored a little bit more outside. Maybe, yeah, let's go back out and explore before I head into the bad stuff. It's a shame I can't actually use my nomad here. Doesn't appear to be rich with nodes for any kind of loot or craft mat. Ah, there we go. Container. 
Initiative Recon Armor. Um, okay. I know what armor I will be going for. Because of the looks, not so much because of the stats. There could be a better option for a biotic or God knows whatever I end up with uh, by the end I finish the game. Well, I don't think there is anything else useful around here. Unless I'm missing something somewhere. The light, the, the brightness here is a little bit frustrating. You gotta admit, those three were nice headshots. Or well, at least they looked like headshots. I couldn't kill it with uh, three shots, though. Oh, so bad. There is one more gar guy alive somewhere. He appears to be downstairs. Okay. Anything else? No. Some more funny emails. Wow, I'm seeing red spots. I don't want excuses, Prex. The dust on the surface isn't enough. If I want to take these initiative colonies out, we'll need a hell of a lot more helium free. <laughs> They're fighting out outside. They wanted to attack the colonies. But it sounds like they couldn't activate some sort of remnant tiller. Sam? An active remnant tiller would expose more soil to radiation, increasing helium-3 production exponentially. If my calculations are correct, this planet could fuel Nexus ships for an estimated 368 years. that much fuel, we could discover countless new worlds. We need to get that tiller up and running. I've marked the remnant conservatory on your display. If Alora had mined enough helium-3 to bomb the colonies... I advise against hypotheticals, Pathfinder. I've alerted the Nexus to the situation. Patrol... That's why it took them so long. It was actually a Turian... Um, uh, Krogan tank. 
Come on, where is my mark? Find the remnant conservatory, okay? What are you? Nomad airlock, nomad airlock, nomad airlock. Cool. Just points of interest. Oh, there is one more alive there somewhere. Could it be outside or is that the bug? Yeah, it seems like a bug. That guy's outside. Even climbing here without using the sixth wheel is actually easier. Again, probably because of gravitation. It should be the bobo, the bobo over there. Straight ahead. There is nothing else there. Ooh, what the hell is this thing to the left? Ah, okay. <laughs> it's a bridge. And the forward station. Nice. Activating automated forward station deployment. Don't look down, guys. Oh, I have to. I have to look down. Oh, there is no bottom. The mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. I need to come back here and try to mine and see what kind of minerals I would be able to mine. If it's uranium, it's expensive, it's rare, it's useful. I have to extract everything I can. I can do it! Whoa. That was risky. And I won't even mention that I completely did not see that hole. Find the Remnant Conservatory. Alright, do we expect resistance here? Why is everything so quiet? Oh! It's a vault! Well, it looks like an entrance to a vault. Which is usually good news, but it's red. Unlike the dark bluish design for the previous vaults that I visited. Oh, this one is really weird though, red. Hey Miles, happy Monday. Okay, things are starting to look normal now. Everything is blue and black. Blue. Sam, the vault on Havaro was really inside. nasty. Whoa! Take 
That's it. Good work. Oh, please give me points. Hell yeah. Nice. Do we have a console on the other side? Uh, doesn't look like. Welcome to the so much better when they're on our side. Its <laughs> protocols are limited, but it will perform simple tasks for you via your scan. Nothing here. That console will probably open the door. Yep. Oh, it's not working. Oh wait, I have to make that thing open it for me. How do I do that? Console that appears designed only to respond to remnant input. Okay. All I had to do is scan it, and we are through the door. Thank you, remnant drone. Oh. Oh no. Remnant, we can lay low or take him out. Oh wait. The air here isn't actually hazardous. Well, oh, this is a different kind of effect then. I'm actually not safe under the shield, I'm getting damaged under it. Although, I don't seem to have any work or job in here. I could have used the scanner on the door, yeah, that might, like, that might have been some extra points. This one is white. Okay, it doesn't damage me. Okay, this is a safe zone. Where? Well, definitely not going there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be silly. Just looking for stuff to discover, scan, loot, something, anything. Whoa, I was sure there would be something. What do you have for me? Mm, nothing of value. Nothing of great value. How about these things here? Not much again. That seems like a working console though. And it appears to be... Do I have a drone? Where is my drone? I don't think we're done here. What? Okay. That sound is as if glass is broken. Just one? I panicked for no reason. Oh. 
That's a tough one. Yes, we do. Let's go find one then. Observer for this one, observer for the other one. Where? You have a map on this thing. Wow, it's big. Looks like we need an observer for this. So it's one observer for for this, for this, for this, and for this. That's four consoles that need an observer so far. I need to find myself an observer. Oh, nice. That's cannibal. Please be cannibal. Hell yeah. Cool. That's at least so far another upgrade. Or maybe two upgrades. The new armor set. I'll see you later, Miles. Hehehe. <laughs> Look at the cool guys sitting there, waiting. Let's do this! Anthony. Okay, that's clear. Where the hell am I? Yeah, crossed from this corner to this corner. That's fine. And that's yet another console for which I will need a drone. But I have I to scan it. Here. Oh. It doesn't actually give me research data points. Damn. So now the big question, how the hell do I go 100 meters in that direction? Is there a bridge here? No, that's not good. Maybe I'll have to go all the way back to the beginning and get myself another one of those drones and drag it with me. I'm not really sure if I have to, but I'll give it a go. Observer console. 
Nice. I've got myself an observer, so let's see if I can force him to do something here. Sounded big and scary. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can call another one. Oops. Okay, one more try. Nice. I've got another one of those. Now, can I actually drag it through that sphere? Doesn't seem to be bothered by it. Uh. Come on, drone. Come here. Scan this for me, please. Nice. No, before that, uh, no, let's figure it out. Interfaceable objects will have indicators, Pathfinder. They may be of some help. Well, I don't see anything here that I can interact with. Well, I think I'll... Where? I don't see them. I think I'll go find another console for another drone. You know, for the other side, eventually. represent numbers i faced something similar in the past as well so these consoles probably are numbered because there is only one crystal ball here this one should be the first to be activated did i activate it what the hell then i have to find whichever one has two of those this one has two and I'm clicking, although I'm not really sure if something's happening. <laughs> Let's see for the number three then. Ah, 
how many do we have here? Four. Okay, so that should be the last one. This one should be three. Okay, I'm clicking number three. There is no indication that anything is happening. That's annoying. And that's four. Wonder what that did. Okay, it did something. I see this one just opened. Okay. So I have a path towards this section here. This should be safe areas. Alright. If I click, they will become red, I'm sure. Haha. <laughs> Damn it. Whoa! we're clear for now okay maybe we're not now we are clear nothing here ooh scannable object over there Damn nice. That should be a container. Yes, it is. Just like the ones on EOS. Facing a tough moment now. I again I don't know where to go from here. This is a dead end. I can't really go any further. Maybe I have to go back and jump to the other side and solve a few puzzles there before eventually something happens. Yep, nothing here. I hope I'm not missing something in <clears throat> something important. Oh, nice, there is a save. Whoa. Stay calm. Through the bridge to the other side and see if I can maybe summon another drone over there. There is no bridge here yet. I think that's what I'm doing. Solving the puzzles on both sides will probably open a bridge to my destination. Now, what I need to do is find a way to summon some more of those useful, friendly things. Is it symmetrical? With exactly the same things on both sides? Whoa! That's not good. I'm back at the main area. I need a console. Yep. Need a console for this thing. I don't think we're done here. Okay. How about the one in the very beginning? Where was it? Oh, all the way over there. That's so far back. Ooh. 
Whoops. Oh! How did that happen? Okay, come with me, please. Oh, it was over there on that uh, on that side. That's the one, I think. No, that one opened the door. Never mind. It's here. Please keep following me. Whatever the hell you are. Are you coming? Come on! Right here, dude! Damn it. It went back home, that nasty thing. Come here, please. I need you. Does that close the door? No! I turned it back into a bad guy. Okay, let's try again. That there is a friendly. Just please come with me. Don't be ashamed. No, not ashamed. Don't be afraid. Come on, you can do it. Damn it. Probably limited to that area. Yeah, I should definitely give up and find another console to summon another one. I just haven't seen another console anywhere here. That's what's worrying me. That was a container I already seen. I don't think we're done here. Well, maybe there is another one here somewhere. Uh, okay. That's the last platform, yeah. It seems I haven't been here yet, which is actually a good sign, but maybe that is the console I'm looking for. Nothing here. Those are closed. Okay, let's keep forward. Moving forward. Destroyer. Stay alert. Destroyer? Probably on the other side.
Okay, this will be ugly. Oh. It completely annihilated him. So let's do some, something with shields. I've killed it. Oh no, it's still alive. Never mind. It's not alive anymore. Well, that was kind of a nasty fight. Ooh. I'm actually at my destination. I think and there are still those consoles to the left side that I couldn't open and I'm wondering why looks like we need an observer for this okay find me a damn observer oh wait 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 this one is actually opening this one Probably this one, okay. Looking for an observer. That must be the console to start the tiller. Hi mate, yes, I'm having a lot of fun with the game. If I didn't, I wouldn't be playing it, honestly. Ouch. Damn. Okay, I'll spend some time trying to figure the damn Sudoku. Alright. There is a lot of freedom with so many numbers. I mean, glyphs missing. All right, I think that works so far. I played a little bit of multiplayer in the very beginning during the early access. I will do some more after the story probably. And I have no idea how long that will take me. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, so I can switch places of these two, of course. Let's see, does that work? Can anybody spot 
an issue. I don't want to fight any more remnant spawning because of a failure. Uh, let's see. Row clear. Row clear. Row clear. And this one is clear. Columns. This one seems to be clear. This one seems to be clear. This one seems to be clear. And this one seems to be clear. I can't find any issues with that... Uh, with that... Design. Oh, come on! Interface failed, Pathfinder. Defense systems again. <sighs> Where the hell was the issue? I didn't see them. Yeah, obviously I had the same symbols, I just didn't see them. Don't eat me. Well, I'll definitely be inviting everybody who wants to join me once I start uh, live streaming multiplayer. If you are around, you would probably have a chance to join me, right? Oh, let's do it one more time. So only this one can be here, I think. And only this one can be here. Uh, I can. Yes, I haven't tried, actually. That's a very good question. I'll check out later on when I get out of here. So, for this one, it can only be this in this slot, I believe. And in this slot, it can only be... Oh, crap. <laughs> this one. And this one. So far, so good, I guess. Meh. I can. Yes, I know I can. I have three of them. I'm just stubborn. If I fail one more time, I'll use a decryption key. Just so I don't waste time. For the armors, you say. <laughs> Once again, this looks like a possible solution. Can anybody see any flaws before I click on submit? I don't see any two symbols repeatable on row or column. Oh wait, oh crap, these uh, squares, they cannot actually uh, have the same symbol in them, which I apparently solved. That was the reason I failed the previous time, because of the small damn squares here, I believe. I don't have that issue this time. Woohoo! Interface successful. 
I don't even have to get out in hurry. That's lovely. I would love to go there. And I'm level 30. Level 30 celebration. Two more and I will be the same level as my age. Hm. You thought I'm 15? Due to my behavior? Let's see. Sniper rifle reward speed or sniper rifle clip size? And... 25% chance clip size on this sniper rifle that I'm using isn't a big use. Actually, it will probably not even give me plus one. So in my case, it's gonna be reload speed. These mini puzzles here, damn it. They might actually make me consider trying Sudoku. My father used to be a huge fan of them. He probably still is. I have no idea. I haven't seen him in a while. Well, these are still locked, though. That would probably hide something interesting. Looks like we need an observer for this. Yes, I need an observer. Please bring me one. I don't want to leave without having opened everything. And also, I, I don't see a console nearby that will allow me to spawn one. Well, we do have a bridge now. I won't be reaching the max. Maybe New Game Plus. I'm really interested in doing New Game Plus after this. But I'm not really sure if I will be streaming it. Are you friendly? No, of course not. Can I make you friendly? I need one of you guys. I need one of you guys to be friendly and help me out opening stuff. I hate to be able to be forced to leave it, but I also don't want to spend any more time here. What's my remnant data? Come on. 350 points. Not bad. Was I here in this very pocket? Hmm. Quick check. Really quick check. Um, that's closed. All right. That's not the pocket. It's not the corridor. It's closed. Looks like uh. I need an observer for this. Look at that. Left and right, there are doors that I can't open, in theory. What if I blew my chances by destroying something or using something wrongly? Maybe you're not uh, able to open all of them. Oh, funny thing, that blue thing... Never mind. Oh, what the hell? I was here. How did I miss this? Hello, dude. You are the one I was looking for. I hope. Please follow me. Please follow me. Come on. Come on. I know you want to. What happened? Did I not finish the scan? Uh, 
Is it bugged? Or is it impossible because I finished? What do you mean, here we go? Not so friendly. Is it? Yes, it's a friendly. Come on, friendly, come with me. I've got something for you to do. Yes, it's following me! It's following me! Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I can't describe you. Will you do it on yourself? On your own? Okay, I have to scan it for you. Come on. This one. Thank you. Can you imagine what treasures will be hidden in here? A little disappointed so far. <laughs> Container. And another container. Pfft. Damn it. Whoa. Why did I need that glyph? Now, last question. Is there something else? Oh, it's still here. Come with me to the other side then. I think there was one more for you to solve. Come on, dumbass. I'm over here. Hello. Hello. Ah, doesn't want to. There was a console on the other end, was it? Or maybe not. Okay, there isn't. My bad. I dare say I think that's all. Can't remember if there is anything else left unopened. One last thing to check. Okay, over there. The first pocket to the right side. Or left side as we enter. Yeah, this one is not opened yet. And... Looks like we need an observer for this. Observer. Nothing here. And this one as well. Okay. I need an observer for this one also. You know, screw it, I'm going out. I mean, after all, I'm not really aiming for a 100% completion and exploring absolutely everything, but I just pray that I haven't missed much. This one is still roaming here. That's fine. Don't remind me that I left some things unexplored. I would regret that for a long time. <laughs> bon appetit! See you later, if I'm still around. Woohoo, the bright red is back again. Doesn't seem different up here. You sure we activated the tiller? The mechanisms are deep underground, so the effects aren't... Hazardous radiation detected. Please remain in the Nomad. Well, the quest is gone. The next option is travel to Aladdin. Aladdin. 
Okay, Drak is concerned about tensions at the Krogan colony on Eladen. He's forwarded you an email from Jorgao Strux, a well-respected Krogan from an old family. Strux has asked to meet you at a trading post called Paradise. He's also asked that you keep it a secret. I'm gonna activate it and see what happens. Now on the map, do we have anything of interest? <clears throat> I'm gonna discover the last forward station just because it's not actually that far, I think. is unusually high on this planet, likely an effect of the Scourge. Let's say I just walked out into it. What would happen? Cosmic rays would penetrate the molecules of your DNA. Terminal cancer is highly likely. Suddenly I'm thankful for the Nomad. <laughs> Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Whoa! That's a very rich Silicon Valley. <laughs> now I have all of the stations available. I don't know how big the map is. Probably not much bigger than what I've discovered already. It's actually a small planet by the looks of it. And I think it's time to disappear to the next place. I'll definitely come back later and mine some more here. Look for more Where's uranium. Damn, I regret leaving those two consoles unopened. I should be able to go back if I want to, maybe later. Jal said he wanted to see you. Jal can wait. Strike team ready for deployment. Oh, I'm very far away from the next Nexus level upgrade. All right. Let's see how far I'm with researching these things now. Armor. What was I researching? Helmets, I believe. Yep. Oh, it actually sh uh, says, wow, these are cheap. Huh. It's uh, it's the chest that's three, four times more expensive or so compared to the others. So let's actually finish researching those and see if I can unlock six to nine. Oh, damn. All of them have advanced tier. And since I'm on the ship, I can check for the colors of this beautiful chest piece. That's still relatively cheap, I have to say. And the good news is I can afford... Ooh. Oh, level 40. All right, not researching those yet. <laughs> there is no need, basically. Uh, the next thing would be arms. Why arms? The bonuses are just about the same, I think. 255. Five. 255 so why the arms because most of the time i can actually only see the upper chest the helm and the arms of my character so that's why i'm researching the arms first for visual appearance no no 15 points missing 
Hey, Jaden. It's been a long time indeed. I hope you're well. Now, do I want to craft tier 5 helmet? Because I can. Uh, this one. 7, 12, 12. And I have plenty of all the materials, so I basically see no reason why I shouldn't craft one. I've got more than enough mods, I think. For now, at least. I can always buy more. I have a decent amount of credits. My Nexus is working well. I'm actually getting credits from the Nexus perks as well. Okay, let's craft us a helmet. Um, armor. Helm. Uh, this one. Let's see now. Power damage to armor. Combat recharge. Max health. All combo radiuses. All combo damage. Uh, shield regeneration delay 2% Pfft. Uh, restoration and defense that's what I have plenty at the moment on my gear on my old set I'm doing fine, thank you uh, combat recharge speed I don't play combat let's go again from the top all combo radiuses, no all combo damage I have only two slots, so I'm gonna make them armor bonus and shield bonus. 2% power... What the hell did I select? 2% power damage bonus to shields, okay. And the second one's gonna be... Armor. I skipped it, probably. Shields. There we go. 2% power bonus to armor. Because the enemies with armor and shields are actually either bosses or really tough. And I've got myself a brand new helmet. And I have plenty of materials to craft other things. Oh, you know. Why don't I just craft the arms that I've just made for myself? Oh. Ah, there it is. Yep, plenty of crafting materials, and I keep exploring, so crafting materials should not be an issue, in theory. I think I'm gonna go and craft that as well. Let's see. I still have mods, I believe. Power damage to armor. And uh, damage to shields, perhaps. There we go, lovely. Now the best part. Let's go and check them out in the loadout section. Um, helmet. Okay, so the one I'm using is 499. The one I just crafted is 71212. Plus three on all of them. Not bad. Uh, what was the... No, not the legs. I crafted this one. Remnant Heritage. So the one I'm using gives me 5% damage resistance and 13% weapon accuracy. I'm actually lowering my accuracy significantly by swapping to another set. But I think the Remnant set first looks ridiculously badass. And... Um, it does actually have a very nice and useful uh, regeneration bonuses. <laughs> I will be... Oh, you know, it's actually past the second hour almost, so I won't be doing any more story. You know, I'll be ending actually the stream very soon. But yep, these streams are usually heavy on spoilers, so you have to be aware when you are joining. Although, if you stay for a few minutes, you won't actually see too much of a spoiler. Uh, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, I need to go to my own office. Open, please. Thank you. And I need to try the dyeing system. Or the coloring system. On my new armor.
Uh, it appears that the red is always red. Doesn't seem like I can change it. Nope. All the colors are set to black. By the way, once you set these color preferences, uh, they're being transferred into any new set that you obtain and put on your character. So these reds are always reds. And there are the other options here. You. Ew, that's that's a hell of an armor. But no, I still prefer dark. Nice. Uh, for the pattern selection, nothing really visible, I have to say. There are, I think, some very minor changes noticeable on the helmet, for example. Yeah, can you see it's a very small difference? And for this case, I actually like the first option. Well, armor tinting options. Okay, that's it. Auto tint is exactly the same. Default is pretty much the same. So for this armor set, for good or evil, uh, there isn't much of a way for you to tune the thing, to customize things. Unless you like that red, but for example, because that red is constant there, I can't really say that it will go nice with uh, yellow, green, or some other bright colors. Swamped my channel heavily with Mass Effect. Yes, I have. <laughs> I've become a huge fan of Mass Effect series since two or three months ago when I started playing the first game in preparation for Andromeda. I've pre-ordered and I've been playing a lot. I've already have about, I don't know, 40 plus hours probably in total. This playthrough is on its 30th hour, I believe. Let's see, last save, 32 hours and 40 minutes. So yeah, about 33 hours of gameplay on this playthrough. I'm ending the stream here, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope to be able to come back tomorrow for more main story progression, which will probably be the uh, Krogan problem or Eladen, or Eladen, or I forgot how to read the, the name of that world properly. And after that, probably journey to Meridian. Tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Have a lovely week, have a lovely evening, first before the whole week, and uh, see you soon. Thank you for joining me tonight.